we know Volk would have destroyed him in the final. So we move into chapter 53, dawn of the final day. 24 hours remain. First... <laughs> I'm just picturing all the the fact movies I've seen for 14 minutes to the heist. <laughs> what are you thinking about those? <laughs> I, I just pictured Clock Tower, you know, in the background. <laughs> Even better. <sighs> so Versa Negatorix flies down with the queen to congratulate Zaxxus, and the guild is going to go drinking to their aunt. Gonna go drinking to their ancestors and make them proud with song, drink, and food. I wish my ancestors were proud of my drunken singing and dancing. Like, I would feel a whole lot better about it if that was the case. <laughs> feel like it would be a bit more socially acceptable at that point. <laughs> yes. No, this, this one's for my ancestors. Yeah. Pour one out. <laughs> Pour one out for them. Give them a little Katy Perry, you know. I came in like a wrecking ball. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> so Volk is being the 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 sober one of the group, I guess, and he can't afford to get distracted. Which I can I can get by uh, sort of get behind, but at the same time, like, come on, man. You gotta let your hair down at some point. Like everybody's having a good time. Granted, Zelfry's kinda sipping in the corner by himself, but I, I feel like that's more so just he doesn't want to get too too riled up, especially with Zax's being in there. <laughs> Those redheads, you know. <laughs> Zax is be breaking hearts up in there, not dancing with all these other women coming up to him because he's got a starfish. So loyal. So loyal. And this this is one hell of fancy pub because everybody's getting wasted tonight except for Vulcan Zelfry. They've got like nice couches and chairs. They got a nice dance floor. And like, Volk, come on, just just go up and at least talk to Addy. Like, stop being such a sourpuss here. Again, stop killing the mood. And enjoy the situation. You don't have to go crazy, but enjoy the situation while you have it. Right. I think Addy will think that you don't like her and you're just limiting yourself here by not going to talk to her. <laughs> limiting yourself to all the other women that are constantly pining <laughs> over you. So, <sighs> <laughs> so Volk ends up asking Fane what he did to take his mind off of things on the third abyss as if Volk needs like a get away from here kind of thing. And Fane, Fane simply is just like, not this. Like Volk, this is a dangerous question for you. Fane does play cards. He goes into port for whores, and he particularly <laughs> likes to watch Birds and the Stars, which two very different ends of the spectrum. <laughs> <laughs> right? You know, Zelfry wants to talk to Volk, and, and Volk finds this out not because Zelfry like weighs Volk over or anything, because but Adele just is like, "Hey, by the way, Master Zelfry wants to talk to you. He doesn't want to come over and say anything, though." I. I love this because Zelfry is basically like, Volk, you're be you're getting graduated to babysitters and to make sure that your peers don't do anything too crazy. That's the position everyone desires, the position of power. <laughs> <laughs> this is why you got to start <laughs> drinking. You can't be the babysitter if you're drinking. No. If you're the most wasted, nobody asks you to take care of people. <laughs> no. It's just like, well, you know, drinking 101. <laughs> <laughs> Zax just comes over sloshed and brings drinks to the three of them for the three of them and he's basically bringing these three drinks over so that they can toast his victory bold move like take your success I get it bold move <laughs> hey Zax just don't care right now he's the, he's on cloud nine he is again the fact that he's able to fit his head into that that pub so Zax is is talking to Vulcan, basically saying that he's willing, Zex is willing to train shirtless for a few days to, to say thanks to Zelfry. And Zelfry almost dies choking on his wine <laughs> with this comment because I bet Zelfry was kind of like, ooh, I wouldn't mind that. <laughs> it's uh, the audacity to, 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 <laughs> to offer up your body <laughs> as, as a piece of eye candy. <laughs> I mean, I, for Zaxxus, this is a pretty, pretty significant thing for him, given Zelfry what he probably wants. Yes, he's, or, he's what we think he wants. Yeah. He's trying to be inclusive. 
Volk is up early and he wants to go and try to speak with Livia the following morning. And I can only imagine Zelfry's hanging over, Dax is hanging over, and everybody else's. So they're probably well, they probably partied on well into the night. And Volk is probably pretty happy he didn't drink too much. But he does go over to speak with Livia, and Luthera goes into the castle to request an audience with her. And just so happened in passing, Eviana is actually on her way with her guards to go collect Volk to take him to the Coliseum to speak with Livia. All right. So we do want to thank everybody for listening today. We want to remind them that, or remind everybody that we do post a new episode every Wednesday morning around 11 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, 10 Central, and 8 Pacific. And I'm sorry for those that live in Mountain Time. I don't. <laughs> It's too difficult to keep track of what what time you guys are at. So <laughs> they never get any love. It's always sunshine Pacific. <laughs> well, like if you live in Arizona, they don't they don't go with a uh, daylight savings time. So yeah, they're on their own schedule. I digress. <laughs> so we we are on all podcasting platforms and uh, on YouTube Music as well, along with Google Podcast that is no longer a thing. We are on YouTube as well for videos, and we do want to thank our editor, Dan Mackison, for including pictures and links to everything. He does a really great job with it, adding extra to include additional information and to make this a little bit easier, a little bit more bite-sized for everybody. We do also have like each chapter released every day afterwards, so it's a little bit easier to listen. We do want to thank the Frith Chronicles Wiki as a great resource. And again, it's been recently updated, so check that out. If you want to reach out to us, we are on Gmail at frithguildpod at gmail.com or on face, Facebook or any other social media, essentially, at Frith Guild Podcast. And finally, links to everything is down in the description section for both podcast and YouTube in Two weeks from this podcast posting will be the interview with John Stovall, which is Shami's husband. He's his own author and has his own series that we're going to talk to him about, along with kind of being there, seeing seeing Shami work on the series as well. So, Scott, did you have anything else you'd like to add today? No, looking looking forward to seeing how the rest of this party goes. So, All right. Next week, make sure uh, you got your seatbelt buckled in because... We're going full throttle the whole time, so <laughs> we'll see you guys next week.